What is going on guys, Tiswafa here, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time we left off, we actually had the Egg Hunt Festival, and it's currently 11pm uh, right now, it's the day after the uh, Egg Hunt Festival. Uh, I don't know why I ended the video at 11 p.m. I, I might as well have just gone to bed or whatever, right? But uh, anyways, yeah, we have a few things over here to take care of. Uh, there you go. Put those up. And then, yeah, potato juice. I don't think we're able to do that mission, unfortunately. The strong stuff. Today's the final day. These are still processing over here, unfortunately. And even if we went over to Pam's trailer and try and put the, the potato juice inside of her fridge. Yeah, uh, it's probably not even going to be. She's probably not even going to be home. It's not even going to be unlocked. So I doubt we're even able to do that, even if I wanted to. So I guess if we just keep that, maybe gift that to Pam and then she'd like that. And then, I don't know, maybe we could sell the rest of them. I don't know. Kind of unfortunate that uh, we worked so hard getting all the potato juice and all that kind of stuff. And then we're just like one day short of possibly being able to do it. I, I bet when we go to bed and wake up in the morning, we're going to have two potato juices over here ready to go. And that's going to be very unfortunate. Uh, but also, uh, I did... Uh, Oh yeah, last episode we also took care of uh, cauliflowers over here, harvested them, and replanted them down with some cauliflower seeds that we bought. They're pretty expensive. We only bought like 40 or something like that, and we have 100 slots over here previously, so yeah, we're not able to uh, replace all the slots, unfortunately. I did think, uh, between this episode and last episode, should I use some of the cauliflowers over here and potentially put them inside like the seed machine or whatever this is? Is that, is that even going to work? I guess it is, but I don't know how long the seed machine works. Uh, but yeah, I also got some comments of you guys saying, yeah, you should definitely use the cauliflowers to turn into, was it called? Pickled cauliflowers and like cauliflower juice or whatever out of that too. And then of course we could actually sell the cauliflowers to Pierre, trying to uh, afford more cauliflower seeds and then uh, continue planting them over there, right? So definitely want to look at doing that tomorrow. So I'll keep that in my inventory at least for right now. I also got some comments saying to... Uh, to keep any gold star cheese that we may have. And I don't know if we have any. Oh, yeah. Hold on. There's cauliflower. Oh, we got two cauliflower seeds right there. Ooh, should I continue doing this? So we have two right. Yeah, look at that right there. I guess I can continue doing it. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's get some more. There you go. Four. That's probably <laughs> I'm like looking at how long it took just a minute ago. I don't know if we're able to get too many more seeds, but I guess we'll just water that anyways. So, uh, yep. There, just because I want to have a bunch of three by threes over here, because of course we need a three. Oh, yeah. Wow. That finished up super duper quickly. Holy heck. Let's do another one. Uh, this one, this one. Okay, yeah, we got three C's right there, you guys. That was really good. I don't know. I guess I'll just continue doing this here. I don't know how uh how how often we're going to get seeds here, but it's twelve forty. Boom, another thing of seeds, and uh, we got two C's right there. I might as well just stay here, honestly, and wait for all the seeds. Then uh, whenever it's done, I oh, hold on, hold on. That's one a.m. right now, man. It's getting it really close right now, unfortunately. Is that going to be done? I kind of want to go pick up some more uh, cauliflower. Oh, there you go. Okay. Three more seeds right there. Okay, cool. 110. I'll also grab one more thing of cauliflower right there. But we have five. So that's two, three. Ah, oh, man. We're two away. We should. Ah, uh, yeah. This is actually going to be pretty good. If we get two seeds right here, that's actually going to be pretty good, you guys. So uh, hopefully we can. Oh, we only got one. We only got one seed right there. Ah, this is going to be really close. Man, okay. Water, water all these. Water all of them. Boom. Boom. Then another one right here. Boom. Okay, we're just one slot missing right there, but whatever. Make it some. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, it's 150. Should I just, I'll just go to bed? Go inside. Man. Oh, that's unfortunate. Let's go. Let's go to bed. My my dog's on the bed. Oh, I made it to bed again. 150 every single night. <laughs> Man. Hold on. What's happening? Did they get. Oh, I thought the game was going to crash right there because it was taking a while to do something. But hey, look at that. We hit level 10 farming. Ooh. What, what did we hit level 10 on previously? Like foraging or something like that? I don't know. Uh, but I know we're level 10 on something else. But anyways, agriculturist, all crops grow 10% faster. Ooh. And then artisan, artisan goods, including wine, cheese, oil, etc. Are worth 40%. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. I think that's going to make, because I'm like, agriculture. we could just get, what, speed grow fertilizer or whatever, right? I don't think we need, I guess it's kind of built in. I, don't need, I, I guess the speed grow fertilizer will be even faster at that point if we got that and speed grow, right? But I think artisan, I think that's worth more, especially because I have the uh, a bunch of cauliflower I'm going to be putting inside the preserving jars and inside the other uh, kegs. And uh, we're, we're going to get started on having oil and we already have a bunch of cheese things because now we have four cows. Let's definitely, and I assume artisan, does that include mayonnaise? I guess so. Uh, let's do our, uh, let's do artisan here. Golly. <laughs> but anyway, speaking of, uh, hold on. Did that count here? I don't think it did. Yeah, I think these are still the same prices right there. So maybe it doesn't apply the mayonnaise or maybe that was sold before I got that perk. I don't know. Either way, day 15 of spring year two. So we're about halfway through uh, a little bit over halfway through the month now. Uh, 
halfway through is actually the 14th, right? And uh, yeah, no events today. Yeah, remember last episode was actually Haley's birthday as well as the Egg Festival over here. We actually did something good for her once. We gave her a life elixir, so now she's uh she probably got like one or two hearts with us, right? Where's she at on this? She's still at the very bottom. Yeah, she's got one heart right there. Yes, yeah, so yeah, she liked the life elixir, so that's not too bad, I suppose, right? Let's let's try and be nice to her this year, guys, and maybe next year we could be mean to her again. I don't know. <laughs> But uh, for right now, yeah, it sounds like it's raining, which is really good. So I'm not going to have to tend to my crops. Uh, probably just head on over to the mines, like I said I wanted to do last time. And yeah, we have a mission too for uh, Clint, I believe, right? It's going to be clear and sunny all day tomorrow. Okay, cool. Fortune teller says somewhat annoyed today. Uh, okay, uh, I guess it's not too terrible. Better than them being like completely upset with us like they were like two, two, three episodes ago. Whatever that was, right? Oh, it's salmonberry season. Ooh. Okay, we need to go out and get a bunch of salmon berries. Remember this this happened last year too. This about halfway through the uh first season, spring season. Yes, yeah, get as many salmon berries because it only lasts a few days, right? Let's get as many salmon berries as possible, and then that should be able to be like like how we get stamina and stuff like that back for the rest of the month and maybe even next month too, or season, whatever. Anyways, it's salmon berry season. All across the countryside, bushes are teeming with little juicy berries, and they're free for the taking. Harvesting them is a great way to earn some extra cash. Yeah, I'm like, we didn't really sell them previously. We pretty much used them the same way we're using the uh, common mushrooms right here to get energy back and a little bit of health too. And I don't know why I'm staying so close to the drum. <laughs> the drum is just constantly making a beat right there. But anyways, uh, so yeah, cauliflower. We can sell a bunch of gold star cauliflower. I might as well get the pepper popper going right here. Boom, there you go. Uh, and like I said earlier, I think someone said uh, Gold Star Cheese is actually worth a lot of money. I guess we check that real quick, though, just to see how much that is. For a golly, 483. And how much is a regular one? 483. 322. Now, does that include, because it said uh, on the, on the, on the uh, what was it called? Artisan Park or whatever that was? Uh, that cheese is included on that. So I guess we'll just sell that there. Uh, there you go. Because uh, I'm like, why use that for pepper poppers, right? Uh, we got two cauliflower seeds right there. Man. All right, well, that kind of sucks that uh, yeah, we missed out on one day of growth by me not getting that uh, done overnight. But whatever. At least we got all these done. Is there anything over here that is done? Oh, yeah. Look at the green beans over here. Yeah. I'm like, the green beans are super. They, they, they blend in super uh, hardcore. So really easy to miss these. And I can't reach down there, unfortunately. I'm going to walk down there. Uh, but let's grab all these. There you go. And yeah, the rain is taking care of all the crops. So I don't have to worry about that one bit. Let's grab all the green beans here. And yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Last episode during the Egg Festival event. Are these done? They're not. Uh, oh, yeah, and then this one, <laughs> I've got about that one, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, some of the garlic down here is actually done. So let's grab all that, too. But yeah, one, one of the bee houses, bee nest thing, uh, we placed it, like, after all the other ones. So that's why it's done, like, one day uh, afterwards, right? It looks like we have more coffee beans ready to go. That's good. Okay, let's plant more of those. Uh, you guys did say I can actually grow these during uh, spring and winter, or uh, not spring and summertime so <laughs> that's why uh I'm, I'm continuing to grow them right now we're probably going to have a bunch of coffee one of it uh, is summertime so it's going to be really good you guys but as you can see we also made a few more uh sprinklers over here so we have a lot of area covered by automatic watering uh just you know it's uh raining right now so it doesn't really matter in that regard uh but we do have more maple syrup right there i do want to go down a little bit and did i eat the pepper pot yeah i did i was wondering right there because it feels like i was moving a little bit slow but i'm not yeah these are not ready to go yet and these trees down here are still making a really good amount of progress you guys i love that i did actually get a comment from someone a couple of episodes ago whenever i was planting down those trees saying hey you definitely want to consider like making a tree farm in the sense that you want to grow them and then that's going to be a way of getting like a, a steady supply of wood, right? Uh, just because especially whenever I'm going to be cleaning out all the farm area over here, I'm going to be losing out on a bunch of wood essentially, right? So that's definitely a good idea too, is uh, making a specific area of the uh, farm to turn into like a tree farm area, specifically for getting a bunch of wood, right? So anyways, iridium egg right there. Yeah, I, I think we figured out. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, I thought we had two iridium eggs, but no. Uh, and then of course, there's always an egg in front of that. Oh, they are. we had a second iridium egg right there. Interesting. Yeah, these guys are already fed. I don't have to worry about that. And remember last episode, because this is now a big coop. Uh, we have the void egg over there incubating, which is really good. I forget how long it takes for the void egg to incubate. And then, yeah, we have a bunch of cheese over here ready to go. I don't know how much uh, is go one gold. That's not bad. Let's water our cow or uh, milk our cows now. Pet them and milk them. I forgot the I think I forgot to pet the chickens just a minute ago. So definitely want to go check them on them. And let's pet these guys. Did I forget to pet the uh, this one? I guess we did. Okay, cool. So let's milk you and then pet you. Even though it shows a heart right there. Uh, it does not count as, like, petting them, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks. Let's get a bunch of cheese going over here as well. Let's get that going, and then I guess we'll just go to the mines here in just a minute. Is that... Where's the other cheese at? Did I miss one? Or did I not milk one of these guys? Whoops. I think I just didn't milk one. Oopsie doopsie, hold on. Which one did I not milk? You? 
Uh, no milk right now. Man. Oh, there we go. That's the one I missed. I knew I missed one. There we go. All right, let's get another cheese going right there. Cool. Oh, yeah, Lee, the potato juice over here isn't even ready. So, yeah, that kind of sucks there, unfortunately. What do we have the mail here, though? Waffle, this recipe of mine won first place in a cooking competition. I hope you like it. Thanks for being a friend. Jody. Yeah, remember last episode, we actually gave Jody a, a cauliflower. She asked for it, like, literally, like, last summer or something like that. <laughs> like, over a year ago, or a, a little bit under a year ago by now. Because uh, I think we got it, like, right at the tail end of spring. Uh, she was asking for a cauliflower, and, like, we didn't have enough time to actually start growing a cauliflower. Because those take, like, what, 12, 13, 14 days to grow? So, yeah, it was it was impossible for us to do that. That's why we finally did it now in year two. But she gave us the recipe for fried calamari. So that's going to be pretty interesting, you guys. So I guess what we could do is go fishing, catch a... Is that octopus or is that squid? I forget which one it is. Uh, and I guess we could catch one of those and then just cook it and then eat it. So that's going to be pretty interesting. Probably use, a, like, oil or some sort of breading or something like that in the recipe, too. I need to go look at that in the stove. Dear Waffle, I'd like to surprise my husband with a gift. He's a big fan of leeks. Uh, Granny Evelyn, okay, yeah, let's give him, um, I think we have that over here, right? Because that's a foraging thing, right? Uh, leek. So is that a, uh, do we need a specific type? No, it's just a regular, okay, yeah, let's give her a, a regular old leek. Boom. Don't need to give her a gold star one, don't need to waste that, right? So, let's not do that. There you go, get the leek back. Let's put up the, uh, other things like the garlic. And I guess we'll go buy more garlic, uh, specific. Oh, yeah, there's another mission. I think it's for Pierre, actually, now I think about it, right? Uh, where we go... Like, like, uh, what is it? Getting, like, a certain amount of, like, gold star crops. And I think I said something about uh, planting a bunch of garlic to try and do that. That's going to be a really good thing we do, you guys. That's going to be awesome. So, anyways, let's go inside. Let's go drop off some of the peppers inside, or uh, some of the cheese inside there. I forgot to sell the uh, blue jazz honey. Potato juice, I, I guess I'll put that up inside of there. I don't know. How, how much do we get if I wanted to sell that? 252 Ah, uh, do I want to sell that? Or maybe gift it to someone? I don't know. I'll keep that in my, uh, my thing for right now, though. Do we have any more pepper popper? Yeah, we have, uh, uh, I guess I'll keep at least one in my inventory, so there you go. And then, of course, we have the gold star, uh, whatever's right now as well, so, uh, did I put up the mushrooms over here? Yeah, I did. Okay, yeah, because it was stacked up with the other stuff. Okay, cool, so we'll sell that. And then, uh, yeah, I did get a comment from someone saying to, to move the warp totem out of the main hotbar. I did end up doing that last episode, so, yeah, that, that's pretty good there. So, anyways, let's go to... I guess we're going to go to Pierre, try and sell some stuff, try and get some money. Well, then again, we got some good money right now, but we need to get, like, what, another like 4,000, 6,000, something like that, in order to get, like, another 50 or so uh, cauliflower seeds to plant those, or, like, eh, like 40 or so of them, because we got a pretty good amount of them overnight. And then, of course, go to the mines, try and do that one mission for uh, Clint to try and get, like, 30 uh, copper ore, right? Trying to keep the artificial alive. I'll pay 150 gold to any fisherman who catches three chub. Good luck. Ooh, you know what? Let's accept that, too. That's going to be cool. Uh, let's definitely go next door here in just a minute to go give Evelyn the uh, the leak. I don't know why she's using that as a gift for George, but I don't know. Maybe he's so old he doesn't even care, right? <laughs> Maybe he thinks it's something else. But anyways, let's see. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. So how much do I get? A 11,000 from all the gold call? For oh, my gosh. Holy heck. Well, obviously, I'm not going to sell that many. If I sold one, how much is that? 1297 that's a lot. Hold on. Can I, can I split that from a... Uh... So if I did this now and then talk to Pierre. One gold cauliflower is 288. That's good money. That's... Especially because we're going to be buying one seed for 80? Holy heck, you guys. That's, that's almost four times again. Mm, so we have 2,500. I guess I'll continue selling a few more of these until we get up to like 5,000, I'd say. So yeah. So we're at 37. And then I'll sell this one too. Let's sell one more. Okay. There you go. And then cauliflower seeds. So how many... Let's get 40. How many do I have? Yeah, let's get like, yeah, that, sh that should be enough. 40, that should be enough. Maybe I'll get 45 just to be safe. Yeah, let's do that. Just because we did make a few of them last night, like 10, 15 of them or something like that, right? So I, I don't want to get too many of them. And then, uh, well, then again, we have slots uh, south of our base now where we could actually just grow more of these. But we can't get like a large cauliflower or whatever, right? Uh, I guess while we're here, I guess, yeah, we have 1,500 left over. Let's get the, uh, where's the garlic at on there? Oh, there it is. How much garlic can I get? 20... I think we need 30 for that mission. I don't know if it's still available, but I'll still get, like, 30 garlic anyways. Maybe we get, like, yeah, 39. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All right, 39. Uh, let's go over to, what is her name? Evelyn now? Let's go over to Evelyn. Go give her the, uh, the random leak. And then, uh, oh, yeah, we have, like, spirits displeased. I'll still check them on the trash. Oh, whoa! We got, we got a jade randomly in the trash, even though, oh, wait, what is this? Harvey's over here visiting George. Is George okay? Okay, George, I want you to take a deep breath for me. Is he uh, using a stethoscope on him? Is that what it's called? I think. <laughs> Probably not even pronouncing it correctly. Mm-hmm. Turn around, please. 
Really? You made him you made him turn around his wheelchair? You couldn't just walk around him there, Harvey? <laughs> George, I'll be honest with you. You need to make some changes in your lifestyle if you want to stay healthy. I'd like you to try to reduce your sodium intake and try to get some moderate exercise with your arms. Oh, our George is angry with that. <clears throat> I know what's best for me. Who do you think you are telling me how to live my life? I think I've done that voice for him previously. It kind of fits him, honestly, like a grumpy old man or something. I don't know. Uh, I I'm your doctor, George. Uh, that's who I am. <laughs> and I went to school for eight years so I could learn how to help people stay healthy. Yeah, I, I think I think Harvey has uh, some say in uh, your health there, George. A little bit more than you, grumpy old man. Oh, I'm sorry, but you shouldn't be here. These checkups are supposed to be private. Uh-oh, well, I guess we better leave. Not so fast. I'd like to get a second opinion from this young, healthy, strong man. Oh, you didn't have to say that, George. I know I'm young, healthy, and strong. And good looking, too. <laughs> Very well. All right, what do we want to say about George? Waffle, what do you think George should do? George should follow Dr. Harvey's advice. George knows what's best for him and his own body. Now, whose heart event is this? Is this George's? And if so, why why do we have a heart event for George? I think he's like relatively low down on our list, and I don't think we did anything for him. Oh yeah, we gave him a cauliflower randomly, right? Yeah, I, I accidentally last episode I tried to give it to Jody, and I gave it to George instead. I guess he really liked it and came to heart, and now we have a heart event for him or something. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Now what should we do? I, I guess if anything, if this is going to be a George heart event, we should do this. George knows what's best for his own body. I'm like he has autonomy and whatnot. He has choices over his own body, but at the same time. You gotta listen to what the doctor says, so you can't force you to do anything there, but I guess I'll just say this, just because I'm pretty sure this is the George Hart event. I don't want to get any negative points with him, because we hardly have any points with him anyways, right? <laughs> George knows what's best for his own body. Let's do that one. Hopefully Harvey doesn't get any negative points with us. <sighs> Look, George, if you want to behave like this, I'm going to have to tell your wife, and I don't think she's going to be happy. Uh-oh. He's gonna tell on you. Fine, I'll do what you say, doctor. So did my choice even matter there? I don't know. It's better not to give my patients mixed messages, Waffle. Please remember that in the future. I'm just trying to get relationship points with everyone, okay, Harvey? Golly, now we probably got like negative points with Harvey. I think it was like midway on the, on the points list, friendship list or something. Oh, well, yeah, look at that. Did we lose anything with him? I don't know. Hmm. Uh, see where George is. It, George is on this. Yeah, there he, yeah, he's at two hearts right there. And what do you think about? Yeah, he liked the cauliflower. Hey, <laughs> but yeah, you guys didn't like uh, whenever I did that and I gave Jody a cauliflower. I gave a uh, Kent a cauliflower because it's like worth like 400 whenever you put inside the pickling machine and the, the, the juicing machine and stuff like that too, right? But anyways, Evelyn, I have your secret gift for George right here. Oh, thank you, dear. This leek looks delicious. George will be so happy. He loves when I make eggs with leeks for breakfast. Oh, yeah? Well, hopefully that's going to cheer him up, too. Let me actually just casually talk to you. It's awful cold, isn't it? What a rotten day. Yeah, I'm like, that's what happens whenever it rains, right? When I wait... Oh, hold on. When I woke up, I heard dripping from somewhere. I think it's the roof. It might be leaking. Or well, I, guess, I don't know, I guess the roof could be... I was about to say, like, it's literally rainy outside, but... Yeah, it could be a leaky roof. Hmm, this is not good weather for sports. Well, that's what indoor basketball courts are for, right? Or, uh... No, he's got a football right there. Man, I said the wrong thing. Uh, am I able to go into anyone's bedroom here? That's Alex's. Wait, why does Alex have, like, a bedroom that's, like, three times as big as Evelyn and George's bedroom? That's so crazy. Like, what? <laughs> oh, <I> what? <laughs> like, I guess maybe Evelyn and George are just a lot more, uh, modest than, uh, Alex's, right? I don't know. Either way, what was I doing? I was going to do something else while I was out and about. Uh, so, oh yeah, do we have a... Yeah, yeah, I might as well get the money out of that. Yeah, look at that. Evelyn wants to use... So we got 500 gold from that mission right there. Cool. Gathering. Yeah, so that's the one for Clint to get 40 or... Uh, how much is it? Yeah, 30 copper ores. And we have to do it today. Ooh. And keep the ores after Clint expands. So he, he, he wins. he's probably going to be at the, uh, the saloon. He usually goes there, right? Oh, hey, look at that. We got a broken CD. And then, yeah, we have this mission over here. So, uh, oh man, we don't have that mission anymore, man. I guess, it, yeah, I did read, yeah, because it's Monday. So we don't have that mission for, uh, for, for, I think it was Pierre to get, like, 
a, a certain amount of gold star crops or something like that, right? But anyways, we have two things here for Demetrius. I don't know which one we're going to end up doing. Biome balance or aquatic overpopulation. Uh, for unknown reasons, the local population of ocean fish has grown to an unsustainable. So it seems like he wants me to get a bunch of ocean fish there. And this one sounds like he wants me to get a bunch of specifically halibut. Okay, so uh, which one do I want to do? Because they're both basically the same. They're like, look at that. Just glancing at them, they're like the same exact words. So it says right there, population of ocean fish. So it's very uh, broad. And then this one says population of halibut specifically. So I guess maybe I'll do ocean fish just so I don't have to get something very super hyper specific. <laughs> it's going to end up like the midnight carp or whatever, where I'm trying to catch them, but I can't catch them because I'm trying to catch the exact specific thing. And it only shows up at a very specific time of the day or night time of the night, actually, for the midnight carp, right? Let's check up on that mission. Now, what do we need to get for that? Yeah, see, look at that. Just ocean fish. Catch 20 ocean. We could do that, no problem. Yeah, let's do that maybe next episode or later on today or something like that, right? But for right now, I guess we'll head on over to here. Uh, how's our inventory doing? Do we need to drop off anything? Uh, I don't think we do. If, if anything, we'll just drop off stuff by the chest that's in the uh, the, the mines. And yeah, you know what? It's been a little while since we went over to the mines and uh, specifically the... What's it called? I forgot what the area, the, the quarry. Uh, let's go over there. Let's go see if any new stuff is actually spawned in over here, like new ores, uh, new valuable ores, that is. Because, oh, there's iron ore there. Yeah, I'm not seeing any, like, iridium ore or whatever that one thing was that one time that gave us the uh, iridium. Yeah, I don't know where that was. Yeah, I, I don't see anything of note there. I guess we'll just wait. Let's go back to the mines over here, and we could drop off some of the extra stuff in this chest, such as garlic seeds. Yeah, all this stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, Pepper Popper, do I want to keep that? How long is this timer going? Two minutes? Yeah, I guess I'll keep that in my inventory in about two minutes. We'll come back and uh, use that. And then Staircase, I guess we'll move that down there. Life Elixir, Milk Pail. Yeah, I guess we'll keep those there. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal, right? But I do want to get uh, 30 Copper Ore. So I don't know what layer it's going to be. I guess I'll go to like 20. I guess this would be fine. So let's go here. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at all the Copper just glancing right there. Boom, there's Copper here. And then just Copper. To and yeah, 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 because this is a, a very low part of the map or whatever. We can actually just break all the stuff instantly like that. So that's going to be awesome. Very easy here, you guys. Uh, but anyways, I, I guess I'll just continue doing this off camera because I'm literally just going to be mining a bunch of copper ore. We currently have how much? I might as well put that in my hotbar so I can easily just monitor how much uh, how our progress is. So we're at nine. We need to get 30. That should be pretty easy, honestly. And I, I'm kind of thinking, oh, yeah, uh, should I just leave and then come back? Yeah, I, I guess we will rather than trying to find the way down right there rather than find uh, trying to uh, use our staircase, too, because I, I only want to use that in an emergency situation. Right. And I don't see any copper here, unfortunately, but I kill these guys. I'll help out with that one mission. Right. Uh, oh, man, there's more uh, of those maggot things over here, too. Let's kill these guys. Yeah, I think we ever killed these guys with our uh, new new sword, right? So that's really good. We just one shot them. No problem. <laughs> so that's really good. But then again, yeah, we are really uh, low down or really high up in the mines. I keep it's like backwards or whatever. I keep confusing myself. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let, let me just try and find the way down here. And of course, try and get up to 30 copper ore. And then, oh, there you go. Boom, found it right there. Nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that few copper right here. Awesome. Uh, but yeah, while I'm here, maybe maybe I'll go to like layer 40 or whatever. Wh whatever layer that was, where we eventually started finding those like sprite things that gave us uh, that, that drop coal whenever you kill them. And then boom, kill that guy in one shot. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Saw some copper up here, too. I must have missed it just a second ago. But yeah, let me continue getting as much copper over here as possible. We're at 21 already. I might not. Eat. Oh, wow. We might have it just right now. And 26. Eh, not quite yet. And then there's the way down right there. I guess I guess just one more layer and then boom. That's enough copper. Yeah, boom. Look at that copper right here and copper right there, too. It's going to be two more. So we're up to 28. And yeah, boom. There you go. We got that mission done for Clint. You guys should I just go drop those off right now. It's, uh, yeah, let's leave the mines. We could, we could just go take the, the minecart over to the black or uh, yeah, yeah, the blacksmith thing is like right next door to it. Yeah, let's go drop it off right now. So I don't have to worry about uh, going over to the to the to the saloon a little bit later on. Right. So let's do that. Let's do that. They have to talk to him directly like this. Right. So there you go. There you go. You brought the ores I requested. Thank you. All right. Hmm. It seems like these ores don't have any rare gems hidden inside. That's OK. Here are your ores back and your payment, as promised. So that's the reason why he's wanting to inspect all these ores to find hidden gems and try and get the money. And then that's why I get to keep them, right? <laughs> well, that sucks, man. And then, yeah, yeah, he, he could upgrade our tools and whatnot. Uh, so we have axe and oh, man, they're all 10,000, though. And then they require five gold bars, too. Man, yeah, we're still not ready for that yet. Golly. But anyways, yeah, uh, I guess I'll just head back to the mines. We have yeah, it's 4 p.m. right now. Yeah, we have plenty of time. Uh, I'll go down like layer 40, 60, etc. Whatever layer that was. I forget which one. Maybe I go to like 60. 
this going to be layers? Uh, maybe. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's a ton of them right there. Cool. So hopefully these guys are going to drop a good amount of uh, coal for us. Yeah, see that? We get coal from these things. I don't have to spend a bunch of uh, uh, wood to turn into charcoal and use that to smell stuff, right? So that's going to be really cool. And then we have an aquamarine. Boom, got that right there. And I guessed what it was successfully right there, too. <laughs> or uh, correctly, whatever the word is. Anyways, uh, let me keep going around here. Yeah, boom, more of those uh, little black sprite guys. So we just kill these things. And then, of course, like basically living pieces of coal, honestly. Yeah, look at that, three pieces of coal right there. That's basically 30 wood, because it takes 10 wood to turn into uh, one charcoal, right? So yeah, we're, we're saving a bunch of wood here. We're saving so many trees, you guys. We're saving the trees. <laughs> That's what this mission's for. But either way, let me continue doing this off camera, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. And then uh, I don't know what we're going to do next. Oh, there you go, look at that, find a way down, and then boom, kill more of these guys. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I guess we can go fishing in the ocean, try and do that one mission. That's going to be really cool, you guys. Uh, and then also some other things, like maybe plant down some of the garlic seeds and cauliflower seeds. Trying to, uh, I'll try and finish all my uh, mining shenaniganry before, like, say, I don't know, 8, 8, 10 p.m. or something like that. That way we have plenty of time to plant down a bunch of, uh, a bunch of the seeds that we bought earlier in the day, right? But anyways, like I said, I'll see you guys here in just a bit. <laughs> Look at all the ores around here I have to mine. Golly. All right, you guys, back. And yeah, I, I, I came back to the base, came back to the farm and, and took care of some of the busy work. I cleaned out my inventory, sold some stuff, or at least put it inside the shipping box, and uh, of course planted down a bunch of the cauliflower and the garlic, too. So that's going to be great. Oh, man. Look at that, I got level 8 mining now. Okay, cool, plus one pickaxe proficiency. And we got a mega bomb crafting recipe, so I definitely want to see what that's like. Maybe I have to go back to the mines and test that out now, right? Golly. Let's see, uh, mayonnaise. Oh, wow, look at that. I think we're getting 280 beforehand from the mayonnaise. Now we're getting 390, or the gold star mayonnaise. Now we're getting 399 from each one. And the gold star cheese is 483. Holy, we're getting really good money here, you guys. And I assume the honey also went up too. I, I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, but either way, still, it's still 280 for a regular, not even a silver star, uh, blue jazz honey. That's really good money. We got $3,300 overnight. We're, we're going to start raking in the cash here, you guys. I could feel it. <laughs> but now, well, let's start looking forward to doing some other missions around here, like doing the, uh, the fishing one. Was this one gathering? Oh, yeah, I didn't get the money right there. Uh, but we have this one to do fishing, uh, final day. We have to catch, uh, oh wait, no, hold on. This one's to catch three chub fish. Now, where can I find those? I might want to look at the uh, built-in wiki mod, see where that is. But here's the other one I was thinking of. We just have to catch 20 ocean fish just in general. So if a chub is able to be found in the ocean, which I don't know, I'm not a fishing expert. Uh, whoops, hold on, do this. Yeah, there you go. So chub, where is that at? Ooh, what type of water fish is this? Oh man, it's a freshwater one. Uh, has to be found in the backwoods, uh, forest river, and the mountain area, not the ocean, unfortunately. So uh, I guess we can go up there. It's just three fish. And then, of course, the other one, that one's due in like six days. But this one right here to catch the three chubs, that's due today. So we might as well get that done, right? So uh, that's not going to be too bad. And yeah, only 62, 77, blah, blah, blah from uh, selling those fish. But it is sunny today, I believe, right? But what's it going to be tomorrow? Cloudy or partially cloudy with a light breeze. Expect lots of pollen. Then a fortune teller says the luck today is neutral. Okay, not too bad. Don't think there's any events happening today. Yeah, no no events here. But next episode is going to be nothing for the first half. And then the second half is going to have Pam's birthday. So don't want to forget about that. Maybe we'll actually give her one of the... Uh... And then, yeah, by the way, I put a... Did I get that on camera or not? I forget, but I had like a broken CD or something like that. Put that over here in the thing, and now we got a refined quartz, so that's pretty cool. We also have a frozen geode, so I kind of want to take care of that. And then uh, we have copper ore, and I want to get the coal processed too, and some of the uh, some of the iron as well. So we might as well get those processed over here uh, outside, because we do have that 10 coal now, right? So definitely do that out here. And then, yeah, look at the potato, uh, whatever that is, potato juice, finally finished right now. Golly. And there you go. All the coal is processing right now. And I guess we can get some of the cauliflower processing over here too just because we have two uh kegs that are not being wait what in the world what was i doing right there what happened oh i was trying to put uh coal inside the kiln for some reason i don't know what that was all about <laughs> let's get the cauliflower i don't know what this is going to make cauliflower juice or like cauliflower something i don't know i guess we'll just have to wait and see but apparently it's worth a lot of money and we're supposed to get 40 percent more money now anyways because we have that uh what whatever perk that was oh man then we have these done over here too so we have seven uh things that finished up right there so do we have enough uh yeah yeah we have I have a bunch of iron over here, but we need a little bit more coal, unfortunately. It requires one. Yeah, we need more coal. Uh, we have two more I could actually smelt, but I don't, I don't know if we have enough wood to actually turn those into charcoal. We do have a uh, mission right here, though. What is this? Waffle. I got a new item in stock. It's called the Auto Grabber. This thing can milk your cows and goats, shear your sheep, gather eggs, and pluck your woolly rabbits all on its own. 
It's considered a luxury item, so I'm charging 25,000 from Marty. Yeah, um, I said I wanted to get, uh, what is it called? I, I, did I say this this episode? I wrote it down in my notes. I don't know if I actually, like, verbally mentioned it yet, but I said I wanted to buy some ducks from Marnie, or at least I was thinking uh, I wanted to buy some button ducks from Marnie, because we do have the upgraded coop over here. So now we have eight capacity, and what I want to have happen is once the void egg hatches, that's it, and it's going to be like a baby void egg or whatever, or like a void chick, whatever it's going to be. Uh, it, it's going to be a little while until that thing lays eggs and stuff like that, and then once it lays an egg, we can, we can incubate another one of those void eggs, and then we'll have two void chickens in here, so we'll have two void chickens, two ducks, and then four regular chickens, so that'd be a pretty good setup, at least right there, right? Uh, make sure we pet all the chickens, because we didn't get to, uh, yesterday, unfortunately. But yeah, this auto grabber or whatever the thing is called, that sounds pretty heckin' good, you guys, but 25000 that's a lot of money, so we're not able to do that just yet. Uh, milk that cow, there you go, and then pet this other one, there you go, cool. Let's water our dog's bowl, there you go, and pet our dog too, there you go. <laughs> Don't want to forget about him, and of course he got, uh, hold on, uh, how much milk? We've only, yeah, we have three milk, so, oh, here we go, here's the other cow. I knew I missed out on a cow, and there you go. And you can see I have all the cauliflower over here planted as well. Uh, some of the strawberry, I don't know how long the strawberry takes to, uh, process there, but definitely want to keep an eye on that. And it looks like a bunch of garlic or something finished up over there as well. It looks like we have some more cheese ready to go, so let's do that. Uh, over here with the milk. There we go. And it looks like we have another gold cheese right there. So that's really good. There you guys. Nice. Let's actually grab some of the hay back and put that back over here. Even though they are eating outside, at least that's going to be stocked up there. So we don't have to worry about that, right? And let's go check on the mushrooms over here too. Uh, oh man, I don't have a pepper popper on me, unfortunately. Man, let's go inside. Let's go grab the pepper popper. Eat that because that does give us like a farming two plus two farming boost or something like that. As well as the uh, the faster movement speed too. So it's going to help out a little bit too. You know, maybe get more XP or something like that from, uh, from getting all the crops. Oh, hold on. You guys, we got four batteries here from the stormy day. Oh my gosh, I didn't... How long are those? Those must have been... Oh, then, yeah, the bushes here. Oh, I forgot to... Yeah. It's, it's only like a three-day event or something like that to get a bunch of salmon berries, so I kind of want to go explore all around the... Uh, uh, not Pelican Town, but Stardew Valley in general to try and find as many salmon berries as possible. Use those for whatever. And I wonder if we put the salmon berry in the seed-making machine if we could actually get salmon berry seeds and plant those here. I doubt it's going to work, but I kind of want to try it just anyways, right? So there you go. So we have five battery packs now. We need those. Hold on. Uh, if I do this, is it going to pull up? Whoops, that's the wrong button. This. Uh, what recipe? Yeah, the iridium sprinkler. Yeah, we need that uh, battery pack with the iridium sprinkler and a gold bar and then an iridium bar too. Yeah. So we're not able to make that just yet. And then slime egg press, 25 coal, one fire quartz. Then a battery pack gives us the slime egg press. Don't know what that does. <laughs> I might have to look up that in the real wiki here in the future. Uh, but for right now, uh, yeah, I'll put up the gold cheese over here and then go grab a real pepper popper and uh, eat that. Let's see there. Oh, wait, hold on. Yep, yep, we have three of those. So I guess we'll we'll eat one and then we'll keep one in our inventory, at least for right now. So let's put that over there and then we'll eat this one right here. Yep, there you go. Cool. Uh, then we have the two potato juice. I guess we could save that for uh, Pam tomorrow. So there you go. Put those up. At least right now. And then the regular cheese, put that up too. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, put up the regular cheese and then sell the gold star cheese. Because we're going to get like 400 something out of that, right? So that's going to be some amazing money there. Let's put up the uh, other ores that I can't really use, at least for right now. There you go. And then uh, if we want to go take care of the salmon berries. And I guess while we're out and about, we can go to town. Oh, whoa, we got a lot of preserved, uh, what was that? Pickle, pickle bok choy. Okay, cool. So we could do the same thing we just did with the cauliflower. Go grab some of the cauliflower. Put those in there and we'll get some pickled cauliflower and get not 400, probably like 500 or 600 or something like that out of each pickled cauliflower. We're going to get so much money, you guys. It's going to be insane in the membrane. Let's put that up over here. There you go. And put up the red mushrooms over here, too. Yep, there you go. Cool. What I just put up right there? Salmon berries? Oh, wait, no, that's it right there. I don't know what uh, what else I just put up just a second ago. Whoops. <laughs> Hopefully it wasn't anything too important. Oh, yeah. So the other uh, pickled those there you go cool awesome well at least we can move around uh relatively fast now so that's good but let's get these a going hold on that one that one and then this one right there okay cool so uh, hope I, I think we took care of everything right there except for watering the crops so i might need to go do that real quick uh but then you know we can do that whenever uh water the crops as well as yeah uh harvest the crops too yeah looks like we have a lot of garlic ready to go so i guess yeah there you go. grab all the garlic what if that auto grabber thing is going to have anything to do with harvesting the crop i think it did didn't it I, I only really remembered whenever it mentioned, uh, like, milking the cows and, and getting the eggs and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm going to water all these crops over here real quick. Uh, might want to actually, I don't know. 
I, we'd have to wait until a rainy time to upgrade our uh, our watering can again. Just because I'm like, it, it waters a lot right now, five. I don't know. Next season, we're, we're definitely going to be doing the same thing with, what is it, melons? Try and get the giant melons, like we're doing with the cauliflower. So I, I need to have a big area like this where we can get a higher likelihood of getting giant melons, right? So, hmm. I, I'll, I'll still have to manually water everything in that sense. I can't rely on the sprinklers, so that kind of sucks. But yeah, let, let me continue watering all the crops over here, at least for right now. And uh, I'll see you guys here in a bit. And we'll go over to Marnie's ranch and buy a couple of ducks. And then uh, maybe we'll end off the episode or something like that. I have to look at how long the footage is right now, but... Let me just continue watering the crops real quick, and I'll see you guys here in just a sec. All right, just harvested a bunch of stuff. We could just we uh, put a sprinkler there now if we want to. So yeah, that's going to be good because we just uh, got rid of whatever crop was there. Planted down a uh, a rice shoot right there, so that's going to be cool here in the future, guys. A bunch of strawberries growing right there, so we have a lot of progress there. Did we pet everything over here. I think we did. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. Uh, I guess we could put up all the stuff that we just uh, just harvested. We put up all that stuff over here. There we go. Cool. Then uh, we need, yeah, definitely want to go harvest the salmon berries, but I do want to go south of our base. I'm not sure how many salmon berries we could, or salmon berry bushes we could find down there, but look at that oak resin right there. Awesome. But yeah, remember what, whoa, these actually grew right here. Whoa, those grew fast. Yeah, because those were the first trees we planted. Holy heck, those grew fast. Man, how, how do you make the tappers again? How expensive is that? I don't think we're able to make those because those were, yeah, two copper. Oh, we got a decent amount of copper and we just smelted a bunch of them. I don't know how much wood, how much spare wood we have right now. And then there's a the slime egg press. There's that. Compresses a hundred pieces of slime into a slime egg. It's a miracle of slime. Yeah, didn't, didn't, hold on. Who, who told us something about a slime egg during the egg festival? We have the battery packs. We have the coal. Oh, well, we can get the coal if I just go out of my way. Maybe get a bunch of heckin' wood and on top of that too and then fire cores i think we might have some of those i come i'm very curious about that i guess if we get a slime egg then maybe incubate it like what's going to happen at that point oh what was this was there a, what's that statue there stone owl what the, it's not clear where this came from but it looks pretty fun huh hold on uh this it's not clear where it came. yeah owned i own one of the that was not there previously. I, I remember because I cleaned out everything of the lake to the right. And that was definitely not there except for some of the... Oh, yeah, look at the sandberry bushes right there. I, I'm pretty sure I would have noticed that if that was there previously, you guys. Golly. Uh, <laughs> maybe I'll have to look that up in the real wiki and see what it says about it. But yeah, look, look at all the salmon berries we're getting right now, you guys. This is insane. I uh, definitely want to go over to Marnie real quick. We do have the money, 4000 I looked it up ahead of time. I think ducks are 1400 or 1200 a piece. I forget which one. Uh, but either one it is, uh, we have enough money for whatever whatever the price is, right? So, uh, Tuesday, she worked. Oh, no, she's not work. Yeah, she doesn't work Mondays and Tuesdays, I think. Or Tuesday and Wednesday, or I think it's Monday and Tuesday. Man, and who is that? Is that Jazz that has that big bear? I have that same thing, that Charmin bear. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, yeah, is this? Yeah, this is Jazz's room. And then over there is Chain's room, right? Yeah. Okay, well, uh, an extra large futon bear. So I have one of these at my heckin' table. <laughs> It's so plush, it can hardly stop, or it, it can hardly stop from toppling over. Yeah, I'll probably hugs you one if you sit in its lap or something like that, right? I've seen those before. There's like a jack in the box there as well. But yeah, man, I wish I remember that. I have it literally written down in my notes and everything that uh, it's it, it's that she has like Tuesdays and Mondays off and stuff like that. Oh wow, two uh two of these salmonberry bushes over here, cool. Yeah, I, I guess I'll just keep on going around town. Uh, or not even around town, but just around the whole entire Stardew Valley area, continuing to get a bunch of salmon berry, like salmon berries, <laughs> and just continuing to shake all these bushes here of all their berries and collecting them all up. Then, uh, I'm like, I, I know we've gifted it to people, but not everyone likes the salmon berries, so it's not like it's a universally loved gift or anything like that, right? If anything, we're just going to be using it for uh, stamina and health, uh, kind of like the common mushroom. And yeah, we used it like this uh, previously last year anyways, too, so... Yeah, I might as well keep the scythe in my inventory, just in case anything's blocking it, just like that. And I'll grab a, any other foraging things like the horse rash. Which, by the way, we haven't done any... I don't know, we, we might have done some uh, spring foraging. Uh, like, like farming, I guess you could describe it as. <laughs> like making spring foraging seeds and all that kind of stuff. And then uh, I guess we'll check up on this guy, see what he's selling. Is there anything new here? I don't think there is. Yeah, everything... Oh, wait, hold on, there's a straw hat. Yeah, I, I guess I could have just bought that, but it's a thousand, so... I guess winning the Egg Festival last episode was worth it, because I get to save a thousand gold instead of having to buy that manually, right? So, I guess that's a pretty big honor there. Anyways, uh, I guess... I don't know. I don't know how long the video is. I forgot to check how long the footage and stuff was, but I guess I'll start ending it off right here. The next episode, when we come back, we could, uh... Oh, yeah, hold on. Is this... Let, let, let me double... Let, let me check this. Uh, maybe next episode, when we come back... Carp. I think it was carp, was it? Or 
Was it? I don't think it was. It was a different fish, was it? This is the, uh, yeah, it was a different fish. W which one did we need for this one? Uh, chub, that's what it was. Chub. Uh, chub. Can we find them here? Maybe next episode we could actually fish here. Backwards, I think that's what this is, right? Then Forest River, I think that's what this is. And then the mountains, that's up there by the, uh, mines, of course, right? So, uh, yeah, seems like we're here. And it's the, any season, time of day, it's the time of day right now. 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Wait, hold on. 6 to 2, wait, huh? Wait, what that mean? Wait, let me look that up again. Chub. It says it's green right there. Green arrow, 6 to 2. Oh, that's 2 a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, not 2 p.m. Yeah, it's literally any time of day you can find these things. So I, I guess maybe next episode we can come back and start fishing for some of those chubs and stuff like that, right? So that's going to be pretty cool, but I guess we'll grab these. And looks like there's some spring onions down there, too. Let's grab those. And, man, we're getting a bunch of foraging done right now, you guys. It's insane. Thankfully, we have the uh, the Pepper Popper speed boost. It'd be really good if we had... Oh, yeah, while we're out and about, we should probably... uh. Next episode, definitely have to do this next episode. I need to write it down. But uh, we definitely want to go over and uh, get more of the hardwood from the, the secret woods or whatever that's called, right? Do not want to forget about that. Because we, we've been using a lot of our hardwood lately for uh, crafting and whatnot. Uh, I think we used it recently for the cheese press, making like two more cheese presses and stuff. So, yeah, we're, we're starting to run low on the hardwood, unfortunately. And I guess real quick before we end off the video, even though I keep on saying, oh, I need to end off, I need to end off. <laughs> Let's go check up on the sewer monster guy down here. <laughs> And let's go see what he, uh, see what he is. He, see what he is selling. Golly, I don't want to keep tripping over my words like crazy here. It's not like we really have that much money right now. I'm too sensitive to sunlight to go out on most days. Like, oh, I wonder if he could actually come out during the rain or anything like that. The conditions in here have to be perfect. Or the conditions in here are perfect. Care to buy anything? Yes. Wait, how do I buy some? Oh, here we go. Omni Geode for 300. Oh, Void Egg. Oh, yeah, he always sells the Void Egg. And does he always sell the Omni Geode? I forget, because there is a list showing like things he always sells. And I, I know Void Essence, I know Solar Essence, and Void Egg were all on that list. And you guys did clarify in the comments, no, if I wanted to buy this, it's not like buying 10 Solar Essences for 80. He just has 10 in stock. So yeah, uh, I keep on forgetting about that little, uh, oh, then yeah, the Star Drop is 20,000. Crystal Floor, Wicked Statue, then the Return Scepter. Yeah, he doesn't really have anything too crazy right now. I might get that Omni Geode because he has one in stock and it's only 300, so... There you go. Hopefully it's something good. And I do need to head on over to, uh, oh, well, he's closed right now. So I guess I have to open it up myself and use a coal or charcoal or something like that to do that, unfortunately. So uh, that kind of sucks. But for right now, I guess we'll just end off the video. And then next time we come back, we can start fishing for some chub. And hopefully uh, we can go down the whatever his name is, Willie, before, uh, wait, what? Oh, that's a spring onion. Ew, it's growing a little bit too close to that. <laughs> the the sewer outlet, though. I don't, I don't really like that spring onion, unfortunately. But I guess I'll just save the game right here. So whoop, there you go. 16, uh, oh, yeah, 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 see, whenever we save the, I keep on saying this, but every time we save the game, it, like, sells all the stuff, like, it's as if it's the end of the day, but it's not, it's just saving the game manually, so we can come back next episode, and it's going to be 6.40 p.m., right, so, cool, anyways, I guess I'll just end off right here, because I already saved the game, so thank you guys all very much for watching, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below, and if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out so you don't miss it. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there.